Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Carl Franz in SVO Grim Hammer 2. And we managed to confederate our first elector, Talabekland, and that's bankrolling our war against the Vampire Counts because we're currently rocking three armies and they're all coming down to the Vampire Counts because they need to be destroyed. We got Helmut Feuerbach over there that's going to liberate Averland and Rutschel van Zanger is gonna go down to the moot and save those poor little halflings from their vampire overlords. And Karl Franz is just gonna go straight into the heart of the vampires through Fort Obersteyr. But we do have some turmoil at home. It's a pretty small stack, but there's still some Norskans running around. And we got this guy who was gonna... gonna resettle this. And hopefully... Um... They leave this alone. Well, the vampires. Hopefully, hopefully the vampires leave this alone. Because that's going to be really annoying. Because we just got this guy to resettle and... Oh, he's... Right, he's level 10. Should have just recruited new guys instead of using their old ones. Because <laughs> they're just 8 and 7. But I would have to go to my own territory to get new ones. Or just recruit one and trade over. So I think this is fine. It's just two and three levels. It's gonna be fine. Right, and I also figured this guy should be an elector. He used to be the elector of Talabekland, but we gave that to him. Because we were originally... Were we only gonna keep this guy around? Maybe. I don't remember. But either way, we should put... Hey, where's my original elector? Didn't I put a Hans guy here? Where's that guy? Okay, he's gone. Okay, well, it's Helmut Feuerbechlin, Feur, Feur, right. whatever, words, and right, Marienburg doesn't have a, a runefang, they have just a key to Stradrad, but it's going to be good when it sits in places, so that's fine, and that's pretty good, so, let us start moving. You, uh, you're gonna stop marching because you're going down to Averland and you should be fine. Oh! And we got some, um, oh, what are you, Ostland people coming to help as well. That's beautiful. You're very welcome into the fight, my friend. So, there is nothing in Averheim, so that's excellent. We will make it there no problem. So, we're just gonna encamp there for now. So this guy doesn't reach the moot. He can go to Fort Obersteyr, but I don't think this army is going to take Fort Obersteyr because that's a powerful, that's a spicy meat the ball. So let's just go with Carl right there. Actually, let's move this guy first. He is very healthy and he can almost get there. So maybe we just go over there should be good, right? Or maybe over there. Or maybe over there. Let's go over there. <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna ambush just in case someone right, runs past. Because there's... He's got plenty of units and... Um, I mean, he doesn't need to go closer. And this guy is gonna try to catch up. But he's almost there. We can pop him in there and probably still get to the moot. Worst case, we'll have to pop him out. But it's... Uh, it's a small garrison. The biggest threat is if there's a, a army somewhere in here. But this is the two last von Karstein stuff left. So that's great. And Carl is just going to go right there. I did not trust that 25% because I've been burned before. But yeah, we got just about enough. So we're going to camp here. And he should have no problem getting there. And that is not a lot of... Not a lot of replenishment, but that's gonna have to be fine. But I also said I was gonna level this guy. So let's start by doing this. Because we might actually use this guy in the future, so we're gonna want all the good stuff. Because, well, he can. We can just go right through it. And we are gonna pick a knight. Right. The Knights of Mor is really nice with their armor piercing aura. Well, I guess damage aura and cause fair. But we can't get Knights of Moor until we take um, um, Sylvania. 
So I think we're not going to get that. We're not going to get Blazing Suns either. The Panzers are cool. They're all going to give uh, unit capacity for Order Knights as well, which is nice. But we can't get them either yet. So... At least I think it's Sylvania that has the Knights of Mordor. It would make sense because it is like death themed. The White Wolves are neat, lowering armor and speed again around them, and the stats are pretty good. We could just get Reichsguard because we actually have access to Reichsguard. So that wouldn't be bad. I guess this would affect the Imperial Foot as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I think we maybe we go for this because the armor aura is pretty good as well. Missile resistance is good, and this is, this is actually the unit we can get. So the buffs are actually might be might have an effect. So let's just go for that for now. Good, and we might not even fight with this because we're just gonna go and settle this, and we'll see if we're actually gonna use him. But I think that is... Oh, the Witch Hunter had some levels. So let's get Slippery. Oh, you also had some levels. So... Fervor is fine. Get some upgrades. No, we don't care about that. Right. Um, we had something to build somewhere here, right? Yeah, right. We were going to upgrade that. Because... Defenses. Good to have. Now we can pass. Oh, and they're instantly attacking there. <laughs> oh man, are we are we losing this? Because that would be that would be wasted money. Although, I think we could win this actually. The Strigoi, as always, is so dangerous. But pistoliers should pistoliers pistoliers uh, <laughs> should be okay at that. They should be able to deal with the war guys just running away from them while shooting and maybe luring them into the army. I think we can take this, actually. Okay, so these are just undead. We can have a pretty tight formation. Although, they do have VAR guys, so let's spread out a little bit like so, actually. Because if they land in one of these, we don't want them to fight all of them. So that should be fine. The... Okay, the infantry... These are gonna have to deal with the VAR guys if they land, so we're gonna keep them close to the to the crossbowmen. But we're gonna have probably another layer of swordmen right in front, like so. We'll protect against the hounds, like so. And I would say that's pretty secure. Put the cam captain right in the middle, and these guys are just gonna start pew pewing on these war guys right away. So, let's go over there and shoot. And then we're just gonna, just need to enrage them a little bit. Oh, they're coming for us. Run away. Oh, we got the hounds with us as well. Shoot, there we go. Good opening salvo though. Beautiful. Just keep running. Oh, they are close, but... They're taking a lot of damage. Beautiful. No, keep running, keep running, keep running. Don't stop for anything. I'm just gonna keep clicking until they get loose. We are dealing a lot of damage to them, which is great. But we might just... Those guys might die, but that's okay. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Just get loose. Okay, as many as possible are out of there. Come move it! <laughs> what the shit? Um, okay, just try to zigzag away. Still have time. Just keep shooting. There we go. Now they, they killed it. Good. And now we're in range for our shooters to deal with them a little bit at least. So just get in there. So just ride through there. Have the the crossbowmen shoot at them. And they landed on the captain. That's fine. All the halberds are just gonna have to deal with that. But they're gonna absolutely crush these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and 
the hounds just continued on into the swords. That's excellent. So, we can go and harass some other stuff now. Like, see if we can find this Trigoi. There he is. They do still have hounds. Maybe we can lure them into the front as well. Get rid of them as soon as possible. It did take quite a bit of damage there, but worth it. So, hounds, you want to come and munch on these horses? Doesn't they, don't they look tasty? You want, don't you want a bite? Well, stop shooting at dead hounds. Where did the hounds go? There they are. They're in the back. Okay. Now the hounds are hounds are on their way. Shoot at them while running. Oh, and these guys need to square up. Yeah. Run into the formation. While shooting. So, this is fine. Why do you have Imperial, imperial Tactics? Did the Strigoi get Imperial Tactics? Well, that's some... That's some shit. <laughs> that's okay. They're gonna get shot in... Shot into pieces by crossbow bolts while the swordmen kill them. Oh, wait. I somehow clicked on a damn pistol here from there. I was gonna hit the halberds to go in and help, but that's okay. So, these are ready to receive some guests now. Excellent. Mostly zombies, but there's some skeletons as well, but we should we should beat skeletons handily. And uh, you need to get out of there. And uh, we're getting some spirit leeches going. That's fine. Now run aw run around these. We should be fine. Let's go and charge in there. Charge in there. Go counter charge. And see if we can just get through here. And just uh, attack from the rear. Keep running. What are you doing amongst the skeletons? What are you, stupid? Idiots. But they're doing great, actually. Okay. Send these guys in. And please spread out. <laughs> there we go. Now you can get in there. Everything is shooting. Get in there. Oh, right. Imperial tactics. Uh, you go in and fight there on the edge. Oh, keep running, keep running, keep running. Where's the Strigoi? There he is. Because I kind of just want to shoot at, at him. But you can, you guys can shoot. But we can also just sit there and shoot in the back of things. Because I don't want to be caught by these skeleton warriors. We're doing fine there. That's fine. And honestly, every... Everything that can shoot, shoot at that vampire. Ooh, that's a good volley though. Beautiful. This guy is wa wavering, but that's okay. These guys are done. Put a fork in them. Uh, they are finished. Uh, you can go in and help with that. Because I don't really want you fighting the Strigoi. Because you're gonna just be slaughtered by him. But sit there and shoot comfortably for a little bit. While you go in and... Just fight from the rear. That's great. Yeah, this is going good. We're gonna, we're gonna get this no problem. Easy even. So you can stabilize a little bit. It's just them. Okay, it's all damage sustains. I'm frightened. So yeah, okay. Go in and do what you can. But the Strigoi is dying very quickly, actually. You can back off a little bit, so you can actually shoot at stuff. And the pistoliers are doing excellent. Like, sure, they, they haven't gotten that many kills, but they have done a lot of damage. Especially on, uh, like, very important against the Vargolves and the Hounds. They've been instrumental in this battle. And there they go running. But the Strigoi is almost... Well, he's basically dead, which is great. Uh, we got some wavering there. That's okay. But that is gonna tank the undead morale. Lord recently died. Damage sustained. Fla attacked in the rear. Currently losing. Drained. Yeah, they're... They are just crumbling right away. Excellent. 
And these guys are holding firm. These are holding. This is this is all going really well. We can just fast forward this now. While all of those are dying, we can turn you around actually. You can start helping over there instead because these are all crumbling really fast. You can also turn around. Okay, that's a pretty easy fight. That the other soul was gonna lose for us, bastard. Yeah, so that was pretty fine. We can get some free money. Excellent. And Ostmark is doing work. Uh, they just took out a orc stack and they finished off the vampires. So happy with their efforts. Although there's a lot of chaos corruption in their, in their house. But it's going away. So that's great. Excellent. The empire is feeling more stable. I'm not a fan that Black Pits is uh, in the hands of Wood Elves, but that's gonna have to be okay. We are focusing on the vampires. So, time for the moot. First step. Let's see what they got in Swartzhafen as well. Well, nothing really. Excellent. So we can auto-resolve that. And we'll give this to the Electro Count. Great. We're gonna just encamp, get some replenishment. And yeah, this is tier 2 right away. It doesn't have a garrison, but it'll start recovering. And like, if this is what they got, that is... We're... We're good. So they do have... Actually, not that much. These guys can probably go get their... Yeah, they get their next turn too. Excellent. They can just end the Von Karsteins. But you are going to take Averheim. I don't think there's a lot of... Nah, there's not a big garrison there. Excellent. So we can just auto-resolve that. Uh, return to Averland. Beautiful. And you can just start moving down to Grenstadt. Oh, and uh, we just got maxed out with them. But So we can just get some free Imperial Authority on that. Because we're probably just going to say no to that. We do have plus two, so we could. And just go to negative one, which is not that bad. But I'd rather not. I prefer to always be in positive. Because that is just very good. So. I guess we're continuing down this tree. What do you have? Alright. There's no point in having that. Except for standing ground, which is very good. I mean, you've already taken that, and uh, it does give to, like, halberds and stuff. No, I think we're ignoring that for now. Let's just... Let's just give you combat stats. Combat stats is good. You almost have Shield of Faith. Get more impassioned. And it's time for the main... The main show. Karl Franz against Fort Obersteyr. Got a stack and all get walls this is this is rough but i think we can take this and we're probably gonna have to blast down the towers a little bit okay so what's the range in the towers i think we're just gonna stay at max range because they do have like level three defenses here so we're just gonna sit right there and just grab all of these over there. Susan Mort Mortars can... Oh, they actually reach. Excellent. They can start blasting the walls. The Reichsguard can hang out there. They probably definitely don't have range here, but I just want to be safe. Oh, and you also belong with the infantry, so you can actually hang out with your buds. Grab, grab you, all the characters, or can be there, or whatever. Good. So, let's see the range on these. Yeah, okay, we're, we're very safe. But we're gonna blast these anyway. But, um, let's not shoot at zombies. Let's blast into the grave guards, so you can move forward. Or not. You actually reach there. There they are. 
Magical barrage. Oh, maybe you should move forward a little bit just to get the aim. So, how far did we say it reached? So, there. Let's grab you and go there. You go there. And you go there. Characters can go there. And let's just fast forward this so we don't have to watch in slow motion while we blast down towers. Because I don't want to take too much damage because obvious reasons. And did, did you get shot by a, a cannonball? Because you were... Yeah, damaged by artillery. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. The Sutsans are going to continuously shoot into these great great guard. <laughs> and what a what a place to shoot. Just just need to hit a little bit. Come on. Come on. Where's those shells? How long do you have to reload? Uh where are you even shooting? No, they're not. Uh, okay, fine. Stand over there and shoot at what you can. So, blast that as well. I don't think we need to blast that, but I'm gonna at least blast this as well. But we can probably start moving up. Oh! Hello! Uh, well, you're gonna go and charge into that. And infantry, go and help. We need to save our mortars. Uh, grab you, I guess. Uh, let's grab you and drop the artillery and move back. But they should die pretty fast there. We got some good damage on there. We got halberds on those. So yeah, we're we're good. Okay, maybe I sent too much over there. Where's the rest of our characters? Oh, there they are. Go and help. But we're fine. You can go back on your mortars. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Come on. Oh, that one's broken. That one's broken. Oh, did you? Did they destroy all the all the mortar pieces? Come on. Where's? No, this one is whole. Just let me... Let me work it. There we go. Oh, those those guys are still fighting. That's not great. But Carl is doing fine. He killed all their flyers, it seems. And hey, this one exploded. Excellent. Start breaking that down and we'll move up. Even though we're very hurt, but that's okay. We're fine. Mortars should be able to shoot just fine now. Just shoot at something. So I don't know what their deal is. They were shooting just fine a while ago, but then they stopped shooting. I mean, they're mortars. How hard is it to get a good shot? What? Why aren't you moving? Okay, so there's weird stuff going on here. These stop moving. And there's some other things that stop moving as well. Let's grab all the characters and move up. Let's grab our Reichsguard. And start smacking over there. Need our Flyer. Flyer Wizard. And get there. Why can't you shoot things? How about you just blast in over there? There you go. Now you can shoot. Excellent. So, let's just... Let's just get a beautiful burning head here. We can get it to not bounce off of stuff. Good. Ah, oh, yeah. Burn, zombies. Burn. Excellent. We'll probably get a... Decent flame storm there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Got some can rates going in there as well. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. And some suits on mortars while we're at it. Excellent. 
Oh, and you're, you're just walking into it. Thank you. It's very considerate of you. <laughs> what are you doing? That's silly. Okay, uh, let's land you. You can kill that, no problem. And we're almost through the walls because I don't want to... I don't want to pull out the ass ladders because there's no reason for us to. And I think we're... Yeah, we we still have more health to lose before we need to do that. Let's go and blast some over there. It's gonna be good. Oh, they're going in. Good. Uh, getting some decent damage there. Excellent. Can you just blast down the wall faster? It's supposed to be a great cannon, not a mediocre slow cannon. Okay, let's just fast fast forward until the wall is broken. And you can keep, keep killing that. That's fine. And come on. There we go. Now everyone get in there. Just pile on in. Good. We are fighting. We are punching in the gates, but that's okay. There's no rush in that. So, get in there. Oh, right. Witch Hunter, you can just shoot at what you can. The rest of you, get in there. Okay, that's a corpse cart. Not a, not a mortis engine. Okay, now we pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that. Give it to that. We got some... Some more buffs there to give. They got inside, so that's good, I guess. And we also have you that can buff everything. Excellent. Buff yourself as well while you're at it. And this is an excellent cast for that. Good. Yeah, this is going to be okay. You can start going into the crypt. Actually, no. Probably want some Reichsfoot in there. But the Halberds are good for it. My call. And the Cairn Raids are gonna be a piece of cake for for Carl to deal with. That's fine. So, I kinda wanna yes, get you out of there. Send in the Great Swords instead. Because these two. Oh, actually, that's a lot of stuff. But we can just plug this up. Let's go and fight those zombies with these guys. That is gonna be fine. It's gonna be some good spell opportunities once we once we plug that up. Oh, we can do some judgments or accusations because that's doing that does some good damage. So the cryptors aren't gonna be that bad, but we should really get our caster in there. Especially with them just piling on, pile on, pile on. Uh, wider area. Nah, we don't need it. They're very tightly packed. So that's fine. Oh, don't go so far in. Let's accuse those guys. And we're doing fine over there. Oh, shit. Okay. Get off there. Okay, yeah, that did some decent damage. Our halberds are dying, though. Um, where's our caster? There it is. We need a... We are gonna need some... Oh, why did I do that? We're gonna need some mana for a flamestorm. Or another piercing bolt. But that's gonna take a while. Okay, that's fine. Carl is doing fine again. So let's go and drop a buff right there. That's gonna be good. Oh, actually, fireball is pretty good at, from this angle. Uh, it just costs nine, but we have a 
piercing bolts are burning ready though, so let's just do another one of those. That's gonna be fine. There's some good damage. Excellent. There's some really good damage in there. Are you even standing the right, right way? I don't think you are. <laughs> okay. We probably have some buffs to give out. It is very piled up. And come on, Hammer of Sigmar. Get those buffs. There we go. Excellent. Oof, these halberds need some help. So if we can pull the halberds out, that would be great. Because these Reichsguard are going to be just fine with that. What? What the shit? Oh, there's more... More shit coming in. Okay. Let's do more burning bolts. All the knights are in there. But that means more... More meat into the grinder. Yeah, that did some decent damage. Pretty good. These guys are dying. So, if you can get out of there, that would be great. Oh, actually, you should, should have been shooting in there all along. What have you even been shooting at? Nothing, probably. Because Suitsons is perfect for this. It can't, it doesn't damage our own, and it, uh, it still, well, it hit, hit the building, <laughs> but it still does great damage against them. So you can get some good hits there. That would have been great. But they seem to be holding really well, though. Oh, uh, you need to fly over and give some buffs, though. Now, let's give it to the swordman. There we go. So that's some good hits. Nice. And only need nine more. Okay, so let's start blasting them with grenades. There we go. That put an end to it. <laughs> Beautiful. If you can start shooting over there, but. That is, uh, that is army losses, I think, because these guys are, well, this guy isn't, but, oh, get out of there. These guys should take the charge, but they should take it pretty well. Yeah, they're good. So, go and just punch this guy, and he'll, oh, he is crumbling. Where is the leadership meter full? Oh, he's unbreakable. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> That's okay. Let's get a fireball off. There we go. Excellent. So that turned out pretty all right, and uh, we don't we don't have to give it to an elector either. So we're just gonna occupy this, get some replenishment. Oh, beautiful, beautiful replenishment, and we get some defensive buildings even. So this is gonna be. Oh, and we got public order. This is gonna be great. So it's not even, it's even pretty good positive with the conquest and provincial instability. So this is, this is good. So uh, I think we can pass the turn now. That was a good turn. <laughs> a good turn for the empire. Okay. Oh, now we can confederate with Sterling, but we don't want to because we want them to build up a little bit first because they are uh, they're tattered like really tattered they uh, they've been conquered over and over again for a couple of turns now so they're probably pretty low tier in their stuff so let's just grab some free free authority can you reach no but that's okay we're just gonna go over there and camp Anything in Grenstadt? Nope. 
And we'll see if these guys go there. Because uh, it's fine if they do. We're, I think we get an event to tell us to give them to Everland, which we will do in that case. But this is the the big one. Oh, right. The, this guy was supposed to go into the army last turn. What happened to that? Right? Or did I just... Yeah, I think I just forgot about that guy. Okay, well... Um, crossbow or infantry? Let's see. We have seven and six. I think we're fine uh, merging some infantry. Because this guy is going to help with the infantry stuff, so... Six and six should be fine. And that actually makes it so we can't get over there. But we can still... Oh, there's Vlad. Vlad is back. Back again. Guess who's back. But depending on how much stuff he does, we could be just... Okay. And we get... No, they're not at war with them, so we probably wouldn't get the backup. So... I... We could probably take this, but I want to recover fully first. So... Let's instead get that, and next level we get Officer Squad. Which is gonna be good. And the General needs stuff. So... Do you have any high-ranking stuff? No, not really. So I guess we'll just make you a better fighter. So I'll give you Diddle Blade is okay. This guy is give you Woodmaker, so you can get Deadly Onslaught. And that should be fine. Alright. Oh, oh no. Crap. Well, I guess we disband this guy. <laughs> and he's gonna go around and raid. But I don't think... Nah, he can take anything anywhere. He is gonna go and uh, be really annoying. And that is a lot of negative from raiding. Ugh. But we can start getting all of these. Right, we're getting both of these now that we upgrade. Because that will give us cavalry, it will give us artillery, and all that good stuff. All the fun stuff. I might actually bring him with to fight Manfred. Because this is a rough battle. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so he took that. That is fine. I'm happy with that because we wanted to return. We're in no rush uh, confederating Ostland and uh, either way we're gonna get one of them up to 10 and that will give us an imperial authority just from denying the the confederation although I guess the confederation is only at the start of the turn okay that's okay um, yeah it's better to go this way so let's go and stand over there Oh, actually, nah, you don't get there with, with uh, March. But this isn't that strong, so even though this is Vlad, I think we can take this. And who do we want to reinforce? I guess we want these things to reinforce. It might come from the angle, and that might be good. Because, ah, oh, this is the greatsword one, right? To the this one is better. Would have been better if the if it was that guy. So I guess you and camp. No. I think we will go after Vlad. We can prob we can gun him down pretty quick and then deal with the other, depending on where they get the reinforcement. But I think this is okay. We're gonna try it. Worst case, we die, and that's we'll recover from that. Valiant defeat, eh? Because the only strong things are really the Var guys. The, the Crypt Ghouls are pretty okay. They're better in SFO than they are 
than they are in uh, um, than they are in vanilla because they're not as well. They're still kind of ass. <laughs> they still have garbage AP, but they have lethal poison, which makes them quite a bit stronger. But they're very weak to shooting, which we have plenty of. So these guys are gonna have to be shot down. These guys are gonna have to be shot down. But these are they might as not might as well not be there. Same as these. So I think we're gonna fight this, but we're gonna do that next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.